Tonight, another county forced to close its beaches. The Fish and Wildlife Commission confirmed high levels of red tide detected in some places in Indian River County. News Channel 5's Megan McRoberts sat down with one local researcher who ran the test, and she's live with why he thinks the levels are so high. Megan. Yeah, Michael Kelly, right now the red tide levels here in Indian River County are the highest on the east side side of the state of Florida. According to FWC, researchers don't think it's going to stay around here for too long, but they also have their ideas as to why it got here in the first place. This is my first chance to look at the red tide. I've heard about it for many years. FAU Harbor Branch researcher Malcolm McFarland among the first to confirm red tide in Vero Beach. We collect the water samples in these bottles here. Collecting these samples Monday evening. Count all the cells that I see. To see just how much red tide is in our water. That's one there. They, they twirl as they swim. McFarland has also tested for red tide in Boynton Beach, Jupiter, Martin County, and Fort Pierce. So this is some of the highest numbers of the red tide that I've seen. He says it's been carried further north by tides and currents, but why so much of it in Vero? Possible that there is uh, local growth happening. He says it also doesn't spread evenly. Um, so it's not surprising that we would see high concentrations in some places and low concentrations in others. Eighth grader Grace Levelston raced to the water hoping red tide levels were still high. This is her science fair project. I'm hoping to find a way to just pretty much kill the um, red tide with the household substance. Her experiment mixing red tide with hydrogen peroxide or sea salt. It'll help to fix the red tide with just stuff that you can find pretty much almost anywhere. But if that doesn't work, McFarland offers some hope. I don't expect it to stick around. And so McFarland says it's safe to assume that counties to our north could soon be feeling the effects of red tide as well. And again, health officials warning you that if you're going to be near the water and you have respiratory sensitivities, you're really going to want to stay away from the water further away. The higher the concentration is and at least for the next two to 10 days reporting live in Indian River County. I'm Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.